Now let's discuss question number 55. It states that a box 3 cm high, 4 cm wide and 7 cm long can hold 50 grams of clay. A second box with thrice the height, twice the width and the same length as the first box can hold n grams of clay. The value of n is out of these four options. Let's try to find the answer to this question. Here we are talking about first box which is cuboidal having length, breadth and height as 7, 4 and 3 respectively and it can hold 50 grams of clay. It has capacity of 50 grams of clay and talking about the second box, it is having the length, breadth and height as 7, 8 and 9 as per the values given in this question. Then the value of n could be where n is the capacity of the second box. So let's try to compare their capacity. So here talking about the first box, it will have the volume equal to 3 into 4 into 7 and the volume of the second box will be 9 because it is having the height thrice of the first one and into 8 because it is having the width as twice of the second one and it has same length. So I'm taking here ratio of the volume and ratio of the capacities here. So this is 50 upon n. You can clearly see 7, 7 gets cancelled and this reduces to 1 upon 6 equal to 50 upon n where you can further solve it to get the value of n equal to 300. So this is the required answer for this question. The value of n is clearly 300 present in option number 3. I can definitely mark your answer as option 3. I hope it's clear to you. Now let's take up question number 56. Here we have question number 56 which states if O is a point in the interior of a square PQRS and it is such that OPQ is an equilateral triangle, then ORS is always A or an one of these triangles. That could be equilateral triangle, right triangle, isosceles right triangle or just an isosceles triangle. Let's try to find an answer to that. Here we are talking about the square PQRS where O is the point in the interior of it and OPQ is an equilateral triangle. You are aware with the property of an equilateral triangle. All sides are equal and each angle is measuring 60 degree in case of equilateral triangle. Moreover, this is a square PQRS. All four sides will be equal. Moreover, each angle will be measuring 90 degrees. If I talk about this angle P of the square, it's totally 90 degrees. If angle OPQ is 60 degree, remaining will be 30 degrees. And here also this remaining angle will be 30 degrees. Now let's focus on here this triangle OPS and OQR. You can find PS is equal to QR because they are sides of the square. OP is equal to OQ, sides of equilateral triangle and these two angles 30 degrees are equal. That means this is a triangle which could be said as the congruent triangle. I could definitely write here that triangle OPS is definitely congruent to triangle OQR. Now why they are congruent? They are congruent by side angle side congruence criteria. Now if they are congruent their corresponding parts are going to be equal that means here OS will be equal to OR. So OS is equal to OR by CPCT. They are corresponding parts of congruent triangles. Now when you observe that OS is equal to OR this gives me a clear idea that triangle ORS will be definitely an isosceles triangle. Rest we cannot figure it out till yet with this information that it could be a right isosceles triangle or not. But this is for sure that it will be definitely an isosceles triangle. So I could say as per this question that triangle ORS is always an isosceles triangle. So here I can definitely mark option 4 as the answer for this question. You can definitely write your correct answer is option number 4. I hope it is clear to you. Now let's take up question number 57. Here this question states if the decimal expansion of the rational number a upon 2 cube into 5 raised to the power 4 will terminate after 2 places of decimal where a is an integer then a must not be equal to one of these options that is 250, 50, 1000 and 1250. Let's figure out an answer to this question. We know that a rational number could be either terminating or non-terminating repeating. If it is terminating then it may be an integer or it could terminate after some places of decimal. 
let it be it terminates after k places of decimal and this is determined by the powers of 2 and 5. If I say that the rational number is x represented as a upon 2 raised to the power a and 5 raised to the power b, then it terminates after it terminates after k decimal places k decimal places that is k is given by maximum of a and b maximum of the power of 2 and 5 and in this case we know that it terminates after 2 decimal places. So, the maximum power of 2 and 5 should be 2. In this case, it is given as 2 cube into 5 raised to the power 4. It will ultimately will get reduced with the help of numerator such that in the denominator you are getting the highest power of 2 and 5 as 2. So, I could write here the denominator can be the denominator can be 2 square or 5 square or 2 square into 5 or 5 square into 2 or just 2 square into 5 square. You can observe the maximum power of 2 and 5 is 2 only. So, let us observe with these options which of the following must not be the value of numerator. If I go with the first option, this is 250, it could be factorized as 5 cube into 2. If you substitute numerator as 5 cube into 2, it will reduce the number 1 upon 2 square into 5. You can see the denominator contains highest power as 2. So, it is justified. Coming to this second option 50, it could be simplified as 2 square into 5 square. If I substitute a as 2 square into 5 square, it reduces the number to 1 upon 2 into 5 square. Still it is justified, it will terminate after 2 decimal places. Coming to this number 1000, it could be expressed as 2 cube into 5 cube. If I substitute the numerator a as 2 cube into 5 cube, then it reduces the number to 1 upon 5. So, we have only 5 raised to the power 1 left in the denominator. That means, it will terminate after 1 decimal place. It is violating the given condition. So, it could not be possible. Still, let us check the fourth option 1250. If you simplify this, you get 2 into 5 raised to the power 4. Substituting that as the numerator, I get here 1 upon 2 square. So, it will also terminate after 2 decimal places. Only one option which must not be equal to A is option number 3 here. So, I could say here the correct answer for this question is option number 3 that is 1000. You can definitely mark here the answer as option 3. I hope it is clear to you. Now, let us take up our next question.